Greetings Mac Warriors. Hello ladies and gentlemen. This is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online. And today guys, I have for you the Executioner, one of the assault mechs that you see rarely, rarely played because it's darn hard to play. We're using the Cherubim, actually, which is the Executioner Hero mech, and we're building it with a medium pulse laser and small pulse laser configuration. The right arm is taken from the Executioner D, just small pulses in there, and the rest is just filled up with medium pulse lasers and double heat sinks, and that is really all you can do. 63 firepower, 64.8 kph normal speed, and a 1.14 heat management, so this thing will run extremely extremely hot so you have to be very careful with this mech and also do take note you can only shoot six small pulses or medium pulses at the same time heat scale limit shoot everything on this mech and you cook yourself all right laser duration of course is very important for us on this build in the firepower tree because we want to make sure we have as short pulses as possible of course on top of that we add the armor that we need to be able to brawl a little bit mobility extremely important you want to make this mech as nimble as possible mobility and jump jets and twisting are your defenses on the executioner operations 3 of course full operations 3 no questions asked because this thing runs so hot i actually chose to go sensors 3 here for the seismic sensors to make sure i know whenever enemies are close and just one point in a secondary consumable shot and that is basically it guys this thing runs 90 kph with the mask speed boost and what you do is basically you bide your time until you have uh, enemies in range the medium pulses at about nah, 450 ish meters and then the small pulses you can start using at about 250 meters but as i said guys never alpha strike this thing or you will cook yourself okay we have our small pulse laser right fist that is very very handy to try and destroy enemy light mechs and the medium pulses to engage bigger and further away targets and we have one piranha cypher right in front of us he's brawling with the team but due to the speed of the executioner we can actually try and follow up with him unfortunately i just hit everything and the kitchen sink but not the piranha so let's okay ttb you know what ttb stop the bullshit and start hitting that thing for crying out loud yeah that's looking better that's even better, and now we go for the kill through the seat. You just saw him in half up through the groin. Painful. Poor Piranha, he's down. Okay, now we can start moving in towards the rest of our assault mechs, and we do have the speed to do so. 70 kph without the speed boost, and 90.6 kph going in with the mask, and we need that because we are getting learned by a friendly learn board, apparently. Could have been ATMs as well, I can't really tell right now, but... That's okay, we're on cover now, and now we are following up with our own assault mechs. This thing is really good in terms of mobility, but also it's very nimble. It twists quite quickly, and you can, can engage targets at all ranges and at all angles. You have low mounted arms, that is a little bit of a problem when you're trying to shoot up through uh, some kind of little uh, hill or whatever. But other than that, it's a fun mech to play. It's very rewarding to play, but guys, as I said, you have to be very careful. It's a 95 tonner, you have limited armaments, and you have a limited armor. Now let's go in on that Centurion like a crazy madman enemy already coming in. We just dodge it with the mask, jump and shoot at the next target that we can find, which is a Hellfire, get a little bit of damage in with our medium pulses. Our role here is not to be the frontline tank, our role is to be the executioner. Open components, targets that are weak, you go in, you get them down before they start hurting your teammates even further. So let's see what do we have here. King Crab, we just go for a jump shot and hide behind cover as much as possible. What do we have over there? Enemy Highlands, you see he is ATMing apparently, that's okay. We just go up and find a target of opportunity. I didn't shoot here, I actually chose to use that jump for the artillery strike, which should be coming in any second and hitting that King Crab and maybe our Light Mech as well because he chooses to face hug him, but that's okay. King Crab should be falling any second now. We go for Side Torso and CT and we get the kill. Beautiful! So, Hunter the Lurm Boat might be the next target, let's see, nope, there's a Victor coming up, we just use the small pulses at this range. As you can see guys, override, critical to this build, never ever run this build without override on. If you overheat, you're most likely dead because you're in front of the enemy. There's a lot of targets down there, uh, let's not go down there, that would be stupid. We're 5 kills over 3, but we need to be careful, we need to conserve our mech here. Uh, you never know when you need that armor, so... We'll just stay on the sideline here and use our medium pulses to dish out damage and potentially the small pulses as well because this guy is definitely in range. Let's go on Thunderbolt, come on, drop already, he is down. And we can now help out on the Supernova, try and get his side torso if possible and knock out. Yep, there we did it, we knocked out both the ATM-12 and the ATM-9 as well as got the side torso and the leg was also taken away by our teammate. Beautiful. So now we can go in on the adder again guys. 
If it's very close, if it's below 170 meters, you just shoot the small pulses because that gives you the best damage per second for your buck and for your heat, and that allows us to free up some heat for the medium pulse lasers whenever you actually need them. Now I'm asking for help because I'm also different the rest of the team, but I have a really, really good position up here, and now we can start harassing the Thailander, for example. He looks towards us, he starts learning me. Perfectly fine, I'll just tank it, and then I'll just go ahead and help our teammates kill this guy. He's not dead yet. Guys, come on, just murder him. There we go. Okay. Three more enemies on the field. There's a Victor who's still pretty fresh and he's got triple AC-10 and that's a very dangerous build. So I need to be careful here. He can easily core us uh, and I don't want that to happen. So we'll go behind cover. We'll drop out from cover again. And he's of course shooting us right now. So let's just go ahead and try and jump jet around and try and dodge him as much as possible. While our teammates hopefully will start doing something and maybe coring him out from the back. Come on guys. Come on. How difficult is it to kill this thing from behind? Holy hell. Finally. Okay. Now we can go ahead and help our teammates out on the Shadowcat. And guys, have a look at how quickly you dismantle a mech like that. You go for the leg, one shot, two shots, his leg is gone. That simple. Now go for the other leg, one shot, and bye-bye. No more legs, no more Shadowcat. If you can, always go for legs with this build on light and medium mechs. You will just melt them. And now there comes the last enemy, and he wants me. ER medium, large pulse, ER medium, I, 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 very, very dangerous build. He really wants me, but he doesn't get me because GTB kills him first. <laughs> Guys, this is still an assault mech. Even if you are CT orange, you still have a little bit of health left. And if the enemy is not pinpoint, which is very hard to do with the execution of all this twisting, well, then you just turn around and you let him feel the fist of fury. Alright guys, let's have a look at the scoreboard. 5 killing blows, 5 assists, 3 solo kill, 3 KDDs, 832 damage done, 12 components taken out. This is how you play an executioner. Not the front line, but the guy who gets the dirty deeds done. Guys, if you like this type of content, if you would like to support me in making more content here on YouTube, head on over to my Patreon page and we will be heading over here into Solaris City and trying to find some more targets that we can shoot. Uh, we definitely see some lurms coming in from the enemy. Let's just use our mass to get into a good position to shoot from. Uh, nothing there, okay. Dropping the Adi just to make sure that avenue is close towards the enemy. And we can now move in on the right flank, Echo 4. I've got a teammate with me here, it's just a light mech, but that's okay. That should be enough to uh, have a little bit of backup should things go south. But yeah, I'm definitely a man on a mission here. I'm a man and my mission is to try and find a target that is juicy that we can kill. Uh, getting locked in here a little bit. I hate those ramps. These, these, these ramps are fine, they just need to be in a different position, otherwise it, it's, it's just giant traps for assault max. Okay, let's see what you can find up here. Unfortunately, my friend chose to shoot before me. Guys, if you're a light mech and you're supporting an assault mech, never shoot before the assault mech if you guys are undetected at this point. You're giving away so much kill potential. The assault mech, mech can normally core somebody from behind in one salvo. If you shoot and alert the enemy to your presence before that can happen, you're giving away a free kill or a free side tours on an assault mech. So don't do that. Hold your fire. Trigger discipline. Speaking about trigger discipline, we're just gonna go on the mad dog side torso. As you can see, I'm just trying to expose as little as possible of my mech, but now we're gonna go for the side torso with the small pulses. Got a nice shot in on them, but it wasn't enough yet. Um, yeah, and also don't block assault mechs with like mechs and yep. Buddy, this is how it feels when you got a light mech behind you. Maybe that was a touchable moment. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a little bit... Teeny bit evil. Teeny bit evil. Oh, and we get uh, the punishment on the fly. Enemy team is coming in now. There's a Fafnir coming in as well, together with the Mad Dog. So we have to pull out of here. The good thing is, we've got good jump jet capabilities and we have good maneuverability. So, yeah, we'll just stay up here. You know what, if you guys want to come back here, come back to shoot me, I'll just engage you all day. As Fafnir has heavy gauze, it's very dangerous, but we may be able to hit him from above here. And he'll gonna have, he's gonna have a hard time shooting at us because we can jump high up. Unfortunately, not high enough, but we still will get the side torso. Come on, one more shot in that side torso should knock it out. There we go, and it's just one heavy gauze left. Unfortunately, we take a lot of damage to my leg, but that's okay. Now we can go in on the other side torso of that Fafnir and start taking it apart. This just looks like laser surgery. Guys, this is just laser surgery at this point. Yep, there we go. Side torso, bye bye. And now we can just go ahead and go on his CT with our small pulses. It actually takes two of those to take him down. Oh, even more than that, three. Okay, he's down. All right, sold. 
now we are caught at this point but uh we took down a fafnir we took down an enemy a mad dog and now let's go in and get some more kills shall we on the roughneck and he is down bring me some more bring me another Yep, that Nova looks juicy. Let's go in on the Nova, potentially kill him with our small and medium pass combination. Running a little bit hot now, so it's time for the small passes only. We take him down. Beautiful. Now we can go in on Echo, the other buddy Nova. Unfortunately, didn't get the kill here, so I have to shut down. Uh, but that's okay. I think there's only just one more target on the field right now. Yep. And uh, this is now a searching game. Unfortunately, that guy either disconnected or uh, just went AFK and frustration disconnect, whatever happened. Um, we just had to wait and just run down the clock, unfortunately. But that's okay. Fun round. Until then, let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard. Let's see how we did. Three killing blows, four assists, one solo kill, two KMDDs, 938 damage done, 11 components taken out. Guys, surgical precision, laser surgery with the executioner hero mech. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like. Thanks for watching. TTB out.